Hello, this is Rosie Amador, a voiceover artist and proud Women on Fire member. For the September 2017 membership package, Women on Fire founder Debbie Phillips introduces us to Kate Davis, a documentary filmmaker extraordinaire. Kate is the award-winning director and producer of many documentary movies on a wide range of topics, from addictions to murders to historic events and even whistling. Let's listen in as Debbie asks Kate about Southern Comfort, her groundbreaking film on transgender lives that won the Grand Jury Prize at the Sundance Film Festival. So how did this movie come about? Well, let's see. We we were doing films on social issues and justice films for A&E Television, my husband and me. And one of the ones we did was called Transgender Revolution. And it was a little bit sort of um, amazing that a e Networks was willing to make an hour show on trans people's struggle for civil rights back in... So the late 90s, right? Yeah, yeah. late 90s. And they did. Right now, it wouldn't seem like a big deal at all. Right. Um, but um, during that film, I was filming at a female-to-male convention, and that's where I met Robert. And his story was so remarkable. Here's mm. this guy with a pipe and a you know, cowboy hat, um, dying at the time of ovarian cancer. And he, he had been turned down by 24 doctors in the South, outside Atlanta, Georgia. And he had stopped at some point in his life to have two children, even though he felt he was pregnant as a man because he wanted to have children. And he was so mar- marvelously articulate and charming and... I just was struck by him being somebody who could break the barriers if anybody could, you know, that who who could help people really uh, fall in love with with somebody they might think of otherwise as a freak or the other or you know contagious, you know, or just yeah. like people are so yeah. scared off by people who are much more like them than we know. So I approached Robert and. He reluctantly, because back then it was a really scary thing to come out yeah, of the closet. It was dangerous. Yeah. yeah, and he passed fully as a man. I mean, a beard and a oh, corn yeah. cob pipe and a shotgun in the back of the truck and all that out in the sticks. He said, "If people find out who I am, they're gonna I'm gonna be killed." You know, and but he said, "But by the time this film comes out, I'll probably be dead anyway." And that's why he did it. Wow. Um, what really, going back to the moment at Sundance when we won, what really I felt most of all was how much Robert would have been so amazed that his story was being validated, you know, and that his life and words were living on and they still do to this day. In the rest of the interview, Kate gives a behind the scenes view of a filmmaker's life, including where she gets her inspiration. Kate is also a wife and mom, and she shares how she balances the many aspects of her busy life. To hear the rest of this interview, join the Women on Fire monthly membership today. You will become part of what New York Times bestselling author Marianne Williamson calls the ultimate You Go Girl community for inspiration and support. You have only a few more days to receive the full interview with Kate Davis, your personalized coaching materials, access to the Women on Fire private Facebook page, and much, much more. Join us today at womenonfire.com slash membership We can't wait to meet you.